My name is Isaac Cullinan from St. Paul, Minnesota. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube, channel TJB. And he's with his co-pilot, Diesel the Weasel. Thursday morning. It's the day before Friday which is the day before the weekend, which doesn't really mean anything. So it's another day. Here we are. We're uh, headed to the truck. We're gonna get her warmed up, get her ready to go. I've gotta be in Arburg this morning at 10 a.m., which is a decent time to be there. So it's not really a big rush this morning, but there's a little bit of a rush. Just enough of a rush to keep me on my toes and me needing a coffee. Why does this feel so cold? It seems just Well, the coffee's hot, but the mug is cold. Weird. Okay, let's go get our truck. Let's go get our trailer. Let's go say say hello to the good fine folks in Arburg. Two hours north. Hello, you. I didn't forget you were in here. I was looking forward to seeing you this morning. Yeah, you're looking forward to seeing me too? I know, I know. Best buds, right? I'm going to get you all cleaned up maybe after work today. I have not forgotten. Aha! This is going up on the wall, right over here. With this one. I'm gonna do that after work though, because I can't be late, okay? Can't be late, but it's gonna be right here, right beside my speaker, and right beside, right beside the letter. Actually, you know what, right under the letter, and hold it down so it doesn't fly away. You never know, I just fly away. Don't want that to happen. Hey, so look at my bull snot shelf, eh? I've started to uh, take the product out of the boxes just so that it takes up less room. Looks like a little heavy on the shelf. It's bowing a little bit, but it'll be okay. It won't break. I gotta finish yet, again, after work. Only so much time in a day, you know? That's the worst part of the day. There's not enough hours in it. I, we really need to stretch out the clock a little bit. Maybe slow the Earth's rotation just a little bit if we're... I'm sure we're able to do that. I mean, it's 2022. Anything's possible. Slow her down. Or maybe just extend our lives. I bet you they could do that. I bet you they have technologies that could make you live to be at least 150 or 200. I bet we could do that. But they're not going to tell us. Because we have this overpopulation problem on the earth already. Can you imagine if everybody lived to be 200, how many people there would be? I know they think of this stuff. There would have to be some form of like uh, birth regulations and that would cause a lot of social problems, especially in religious groups and uh, around the world. So I don't know how we're gonna, how we would do that. So uh, we can't have nice things. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, there's my uh, there's my shelf. It's gonna be like that all the way down, and then that'll open up that shelf and other stuff for for other things. Heh. That's just the visible. This is glass cleaner. Really, really good stuff. Just got introduced into Canada. Uh, you can find it at uh, bullsnotcanada.ca. Uh, in the U.S., you can go to brownox.com. Like B-R-O-W-N-O-X. Brownox.com. Find it there. I know the owner of the company. He's a great guy. Great guy. He's based down in Georgia. Stuff really works. All kinds of different products. Yeah, we got the tire butter. Shines up the tires. Glass cleaner. Got the detail polish. Wax. Odor eliminator. There's grease. What else do I got? There's dash cleaner. Leather cleaner. Enhancer. I gotta show you guys that yet. Yeah, there's the greasable. You know, all kinds of stuff. But I'm not trying to give you an ad right now. I'm Trying to get to work, let's stop getting distracted. Looks like I'm gonna be early for my appointment. That's good. My appointment's at 10 o'clock, I'm about, yeah, I'm still about 15 minutes away and it's 9.36 right now. Well, I guess I'll actually be pretty much on time. I'll be there 10 minutes early. Not too sure what we're loading today. I think they're ready for me already because uh, 
I know the shipper there, or one of the guys who works there, he's a friend of mine, and uh, he already asked me if I'm on my way, so that usually means that they're ready for me. So when I get there, it'll probably be thrown on pretty quick, but if not, that's okay too. The water level has sure gone down though. Remember last time or last week or whenever I was up here last, this was all underwater. So all the farmer's fields are above water now, but you can still see they're very soggy. Farmers have not gone out there yet with their cedars. I'm sure they're coming to check on their land quite often by now, because they're gonna wanna get out there and start seeding very soon. I'm not too sure what they plan to they usually rotate their crops, right? They'll, they'll plant corn one year, they'll plant barley the next year, and then wheat and uh, canola. So I don't know what these farmers are planning to seed, but I do know that I think if they go out there with their air seeders right now, like I'm no farmer, but I'm a trucker, and I think they'd get stuck. I think it's pretty soggy out there still. I think they just sink right down to the axles, right down to the frame. probably take a week or two yet for it to dry out if we don't get any more wet weather. What is this thing here? Why have I never noticed that? Is that new? It's like a grain bin there. Like an ornamental grain bin. That's interesting. Heh. This is pretty low-lying land because we're very close to uh, the lakes, right? here in the inner lake of Manitoba. All the water sort of hangs out here a lot longer than the rest of the place. We just had a memo go out across all the Qualcomms, across all the satellites, so every truck got the same message, right? <coughs> in short, it says, drivers, we've had a phone call, or we've had a few phone calls, stop using your engine brakes in populated areas. Uh, it's not, it couldn't be me. I always turn it off in the in, in the towns. I don't think I was the reason for that mass message to the entire fleet, but now I'm wondering. I really like the sound of these pipes. Well, you want to listen to them? We're out in the middle of I'm in the middle of a field right now. Listen. make you feel good in your heart not for everybody apparently uh, apparently some people don't like that sound if it was me I'm sorry I, I honestly I, I try to not use them around people where they live in residential areas and in the city and stuff maybe use someone else I don't know but now I'm kind of second-guessing myself I'm like Am I the reason for that entire message to the entire fleet? Couldn't be me. Nah, couldn't be. Who else is using their engine brakes in town? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. No more Jake brakes anywhere near the city. I still don't know if it was me or someone else. I'm just gonna assume it was someone else. But you know... <laughs> Someone's been letting the pipes sing a little too close to the city. Just so you know, my Jake brakes are off. <laughs> this truck is kind of loud, and I think it's louder outside than it is inside. Cheers, mate. Coming through. But I can't help it when I'm accelerating. Nothing I can do about that. when I get back. It's probably going to be all we're doing for today. This is quite an intricate and detailed load again too. It took quite a bit to tie it down, quite a bit to load it up. Tomorrow I haven't gotten any. Oh, I do have a message. I have a message waiting when I stop. It'll probably be what uh, 
tomorrow's assignment is. Tomorrow's Friday. This weekend we want to get our uh, uh, stuff from our carport storage area there outside our house. I want to get all that stuff moved into the shop. And I want to start taking that carport down. That's going to be extra yard for us. For the dogs. And it's a nice packed down limestone leveled off uh, parking pad, right? So we're going to use that for like uh, an outdoor patio set or something. Open up the yard a little bit. She got the bull snot treatment. Ready to rip. I look a little goofy with these on, don't I? I need to protect my eyes though when I'm on the highway, otherwise I get bugs and rocks in my eyes, right? It is what it is. It looks better when I wear the shades, but it's too dark out to wear the shades. I want to show you this too. We got bull snot. <laughs> Check it out. Finally got them all out of the cases. Looks good, eh? Let's see, we got the visible, it's glass cleaner. The waxable, wax, polishable, tire butter, carpet cleaner, odor eliminator, greasable, and leather cleaner, hideable. And we've got the dashable up here too, so we are set. This is the cleaning station. The detail station. So that's what I'm referring to when I say the carport. It's designed to have a car park in it, so it's a car port. What do you call it where you're from? It's made by Shelter Logic. We bought it at Canadian Tire. Uh, it was here when we bought the house. I put a new cover on it though, and a new uh, flap up front here and back. All new cover. I did that in January. It was already pretty cold, but uh, the uh, inside or the top, the roof here caved in. It broke through, and a whole bunch of snow got in there on everything. And that's why the bike was so dirty, and it's got a little bit of. I'll be able to polish it up. I'll be able to clean it up. I'll fix it. But this is coming out of our yard this year. I think I've explained this to you already, right? But that's what I was referring to before. It's very handy. We can't park a car in there anymore because we built a fence around the yard and can't get a car to it anymore. So it's just for storage right now. Uh, and I want to put it on our land and put storage there eventually. Maybe next year. Probably not this year. More, uh, more so when we spend more time at the land once we start building. For now, I'll just store it away nicely. And this... Like, is a level limestone pad or whatever underneath there, right? That's where they used to park the car. It's like an extension of the driveway. That's going to be our outdoor eating area. It'll be like a gazebo, maybe. Maybe we'll build a little deck on it. I'm not sure. This year will probably just be a flat limestone uh, pad. But all of this area here will be opened up because we already don't have a very big yard for the dogs, right? And this takes up like a quarter of the yard almost. Maybe a third of the yard. No, a third is bigger. You know what I mean. It takes up a lot of the yard here, and we want to open that up for them. So that's what I was talking about. So it felt good to go get on the bike again, go for a ride. Feels good that uh, summer is finally around the corner. Trees are budding. I'm out here without a toque. My head's not even cold. Wow. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to send me in your intros if you want to be included at the beginning of my vlogs. Uh, you can send them to my channel email address at truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. Links are down below in the description of all my videos. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that stuff. And all those links are down below my video. And you scroll past the description of who I am and what I'm doing. And down at the bottom there, uh, you'll find all the info you need. It's real fun including you guys in the vlog like that. Talk to you tomorrow.